Are you a millennial mom ready to buy your dream home, but are overwhelmed by the process? Maybe you've outgrown your current space and you're just so ready to expand, but you don't know where to start. Well, I'm here to help you make your buying process simple for you. Hey there, I'm Kelsey Joy Rinker, aka your joyful real estate mama. If you haven't, please be sure to click the subscribe button for more helpful videos and tips every week. If you aren't in California where I am, that's okay, because this video will still help you as long as you are in the U.S., but if you're out of the country, you might want to move on to a different video. All right, let's get started. Actually, as a mama of however many you have, the process of buying a home can be very stressful. I'm already tired thinking about it. Coffee break. Okay, so here are some steps to help you with your buying process. Number one, first, you are going to want to get pre-approved. This is the number one thing, the number one step you must do before you go out and look at homes. I know it's so tempting to want to go look at homes and search for the perfect home already, but if you do not get pre-approved yet, you will just be left disappointed and wishing that you had done it beforehand because you may think that you are able to qualify for much more than you are, unfortunately. But you also may realize that you are able to qualify for much more than you thought as well. So usually the minimum FICO score, which is the credit score, is 640 or above. Now you want to go through a lender to get this process started. I can recommend a great trusted lender to you. So my company has many lenders that we use. So that is not a problem. But if you find one of your own, then great, you can use them as well. Number two, after you get pre-approved or during the process of getting pre-approved, I suggest making a dream home list. Now you can write out 10 things that you want in your home, 10 attributes, characteristics, qualities, whatever you want to call it to have in your home. Now, I suggest maybe having your husband writing out five and you write another five. This way, he has some of his say and you have some of yours. So this is where you want to really get specific and what are you looking for? What are your must-haves? What is it that you know you cannot live without? Maybe it's a, a nice open kitchen or maybe it's a nice open living room, but make sure you know what it is that you are needing and wanting no matter what, because during the home process of looking at different places, you will get distracted and you will see which what, which different things are being offered. And you may change your mind here and there, but you want to go in there really knowing and being specific and sure of what you are wanting. Now, number three, this is where you will hire a realtor. Now, you do not pay a commission as a buyer. Lucky you. The commission comes from the seller. So do not worry about fees for commission for the realtor or anything like that. But this is where you will want to find a realtor that you love, someone you trust, someone you have fun with, and someone that you really know will help you get the job done. Number four, you are going to start looking at houses. This is when you will start finding a house that you love. Now, when you start looking at houses, you need to know what neighborhood you're wanting, what is the, maybe the schools that you're looking for as a mom, as having a family, you're going to want to know what are the great schools, where are there, uh, loc where is the location so that you are near places for your kids, where do you feel safe, you, these are all of the things that you want to take into consideration, so go check out different neighborhoods, see how you feel in them, test it out. And when you walk into a house, be really just aware of how this house makes you feel, because that is really the most important thing. If you walk into a home and you feel warm, fuzzy feelings, then that's a good chance that that is your home. Now, don't but get so caught up in little minor details. Maybe there are some things that are slightly outdated. Maybe there are some, some aspects that you wish you could change. Don't get the, don't get caught up in that because there are things that are very easily changeable that you may not think of in the moment. So if the color of the walls are dark and you want them light, easy fix. Even if the cabinet or the kitchen countertop 
is a little outdated. It's still doable. You can still fix it. So don't get caught up on the small things that in the end can be fixed. And this way, if it is slightly outdated or you know not exactly what you're wanting, you can remodel later and even bring up your sales price when you end up selling because then it will be more to date. So number five, once you find a house that you have just fallen in love with, this is when you will write up the offer. This is when your agent will write up the offer. This is when you will ask the seller if you want help with closing costs. Closing costs are at the end of your transaction. You will have to pay some fees, some costs, because there is escrow fees, there is title fees, there is other fees that are part of the transaction just as a buyer. But you can ask the seller to help with some of these things. So sometimes they will accept it, sometimes they will not, but this is when you will negotiate and they will either decline it, they will either give you a counter offer or they will accept it. That's what we want, right? We want to get accepted. Now, this is your agent's job to know what are the best strategies to get your offer accepted and to make sure that it is a smooth, easy process for you. Now, once your offer is accepted, this is when you go into escrow. This is the escrow period, which is a neutral party that handles the buyer and the seller's transaction. This is where the money goes through, the wires come in through. And this is when you have three days to do your earnest money deposit. So this is your initial deposit that secures your offer, really. And so you have three days to get that wire in, to get that deposit in, and to move along in the process. After you get that deposit in, then inspections will start taking place. This is when the appraisal will start. The appraiser will come in to give you the appraisal and you will start moving through that process and getting your loan funded. This is when all of that comes together. Once you get all of that done, you get to the end and you have your final walkthrough. You go through your home to make sure everything is as it was left or better. Perhaps you ask the seller to uh, fix some repairs because that is part of your inspection process. You go through the house to see if there are any repairs that are needed. And then you can ask the seller to give you credit for the repairs or request for them to fix it. So this is when you walk through the final walkthrough, you go through the home, make sure everything is satisfying and how you like it. And then we have closing the best day on earth, right? As a new homeowner, this is what you've been waiting for. This is the day that you are finally <laughs> here for. So you, this is your closing day when all of the transaction has been completed, when your wire has gone through, when your loan has funded and your transaction is done and you get the keys, your realtor will meet you to give you your keys so that you can start moving in to your home. It's an exciting day. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it gave you some idea of what the buying process looks like, gave you some tips and helped you feel a little more at ease in considering buying. If you are a millennial mama and you are ready to get your dream home and are moving to Santa Clarita or are ready to expand in Santa Clarita, I'm here to help you. Now, I did link a home buyer's guide for you in my comments. So you can go to that and you can look through it and read it to also make this process easier. So go ahead and click that. And if you haven't, again, be sure to subscribe so that you will not miss out on any of these tips or insightful information.